How to Experience Joy in Your Day-to-Day -day Life. Uh, if you picked up this book, The Book of Joy by the Dalai Lama and Desmond Tutu and also Douglas Abrams, uh, you'll find the answer on page 261. Uh, most important part of this book, they repeat this point over and over. We are most joyful when we focus on others, not on ourselves. In short, bringing joy to others is the fastest way to experience joy oneself. So if you want joy, bring joy to others. If you want joy, focus on others. So that's all you need to know about the book. They repeat this point several times. How do you bring joy in your day-to-day -day life? So for example, if you have a sad, tragic event, um, look for opportunities in those events. No matter how bad something is, no matter if you, you know, uh, if a relationship ended, you lost someone uh, very important to you, um, someone passed away, no matter how tragic, how bad the circumstances are, um, there are opportunities in that situation. Um, you may meet someone else. Um, you may uh, welcome a new family into your life. You may get to self know yourself even more, right? So there's always opportunities that come out of the tragic circumstances in our life. Um, something beautiful sometimes comes from the pain. So for example, uh, you know, he talks a lot, the Dalai Lama, about uh, being in exile, but he puts all of the great things that has come out of him being in exile, uh, because um, being a refugee, uh, he has had a chance to travel the world, he has a chance to get his message out a lot more, people want to hear from him a lot more, and he's just able to bring so much more um, awakening to the world by being in exile and being a refugee. So it's kind of interesting, he's in a very tough circumstance his entire life, but um, he's able to see the beautiful things that come out of that. Um, so another way to experience joy on a day, day basis is to be compassionate and turn towards other people and to um, give towards other people. So a compassion is something that they continue to harp on in this book. Um, and by turning towards others, um, and you're able to uh, bring joy, more joy towards other people. When you turn towards them and when you focus on them and when you take away that focus on yourself, you're able to uh, not only experience more joy within yourself, but you're also able to bring more joy to other people. Um, another point that they talk about is accepting circumstances that you cannot change. So one is knowing what those circumstances are. And then when there's things that are just beyond your control, you accept them. And then from that point, you work towards improving them. And if you can practice acceptance instead of resisting and fighting things in your life that um, you don't like, then you're going to experience more joy. So don't see others as separate and different. See them as one and part of the same. I think we create so much hostility and divisions in the world by seeing others as separate from us. They tell us in this book, you know, you'll experience more joy when you see the connectedness and wholeness of all of us. You'll also feel more lonely and once again, more joy. Uh, stay hopeful. Things, humanity, situation, they're always improving. They're always getting better. Always stay hopeful and staying hopeful will bring more joy. They also suggest having an open heart, having a um, warm heartedness. And that's really what they say is the antidote to loneliness by having an open heart. When you're thinking about others, you're not lonely. When you're thinking about others, you're experiencing more joy. And finally, your difficulties um, help you build up your inner strength. So no matter what you're going through in your life, if you are always knowing that, okay, this is a bad situation, but in this bad situation, I'm improving, I'm growing this inner uh, resilient uh, uh, ability, then that too can help lead to more joy. So these are just some of the ways um, to experience joy on a day-to-day -day basis, um, no matter how bad things are sometimes. So these are two men who have experienced some pretty bad things and they share their stories and some very funny uh, conversations with each other. The Book of Joy, I liked it. I think you will too. Uh, pick it up. I think it will bring you more joy.